Okay, let's get started. Um, welcome to the session, Organizational Analytics Made Easy with Microsoft Graph Data Connect. And um, my name is Philip. I'm going to do a brief introduction so you get some context on what Microsoft Graph Data Connect is and how it relates to Microsoft Graph. And then uh, Rishi here will give a demo uh, shortly thereafter. Um, so let me just go into the brief introduction. It's going to take about two to three minutes. So, you know, what is our end goal here? And our end goal is really to unlock these, prescri uh, these predictive and prescriptive insights. So what I think everyone here wants to know is, you know, what's going to happen next? How do we use data to understand what the future is going to look like? And what actions do I need to take to make sure that I am prepared for that future? But as the value of those insights increase, as we edge towards that top uh, right uh, corner of the area, you know, it gets more and more difficult, right? So let me show you. So this is just kind of, kind of some market research. So C-level executives are constantly looking for more forward-looking analytics, right? So everyone wants to be able to understand and know the future and be able to predict it. On top of that, you know, you have they're looking for these new internal and external data sources to fuel these models. The more data you have for your model, the more accurate it is. And so this is all of your data, right? And people are really familiar with the top left-hand corner, which are traditional CRM, ERP, HR record systems. But you know, there's a lot of data that you know we're not really using just yet. And so this is the data that you're missing, which is emails, you know, meetings, customer conversations, you know, these all, all of these data, all of this data that you could be using in your analytics, which haven't really been tapped up until this point. And if you can guess what I'm leading up to, that's right. It is the Microsoft Graph. Now I want to just take a temperature check of the room. How many people have heard of Graph now? Okay. I am right. speaking to the right audience, thank goodness. <laughs> and you know, the Microsoft Graph is huge, right? It has 18 trillion plus uh, graph nodes. This, these could be like emails, user files, and so on. And why is this so big? It's just because there's so many Microsoft 365 users. There's over 300 million users. And when you get this data, it is not just for an individual user. It's for every user in your organization who's interacting with the Microsoft product. And it's all the way back since when they uh, since the inception of their Microsoft product. So you're getting the complete end-to-end -end, uh, understanding of this, these collaborative interactions of your entire organization. And so, you know, where does this show up? I think everyone has seen Copilot, right? And with the Microsoft Graph, it makes Copilot relevant, meaning that it's using your data and therefore setting the context, so adding value to that Copilot. And when combined with large language models um, and outputted through your uh, M365 applications, you know, this is this is a really pivotal point, uh, a really important point that grounds all your data and gives you the relevant insights through your Copilot application. You know, the other place that you've probably seen this in addition to Copilot is this Microsoft Fabric. So, how many of you uh, are now familiar with Fabric or heard of it? Okay. Oh wow. So everyone, <laughs> almost everyone again. So you know then that Microsoft 365 applications, which include like Outlook, Teams, SharePoint you can get all that analytics ready data at scale brought into uh, Microsoft Fabric. And Microsoft Fabric includes Data Factory, Synapse, and Power BI. So this is really um, the ability, so this is really um, integrated into that system. And so you can generate um, really differentiated insights with these, uh, with Microsoft 365 data. And this is, a, this is kind of the slide that everyone likes to take pictures of, but this is all of the data sets that's currently available. We're constantly building more. Um, and we're going to add more based on like customer demand. So you can see we really have an end-to-end -end comprehensive kind of list for you to kind of build insights on. And so when you have all of this data, we deliver in three formats. So we deliver in basic formats, we deliver in clean and curated formats. So we prepare your analytics based on the models, and we make sure that whatever uh, we make sure that you have the right kind of uh, data you need to fulfill your analytics templates. And all of this is, comes in a security compliant uh, format. If you're interested to about learning more, we have an entire ebook, so follow up with me after the conversation. I'm happy to kind of carry on with that. But we think of security and privacy end to end. And so there are really infinite use cases. We're going to show you a couple right now. Um, but there is, there's a ton of possibilities for this data. And uh, we're going to show you some high value use cases that we think are going to be highly relevant to your organization. So Rishi, I'm going to pass it off to Rishi. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully, everyone's excited. So as we, Philip was saying, 
today the Microsoft 365 is the application and the services that everyone's using. And this is the richest data that's out there that we believe. And what we're gonna to talk to you today is how to actually use that data to solve two business problems. Philip showed you the infinite possibilities. Uh, changing on to the second laptop. Cool. So here we are, we are sitting inside Synapse Studio. This is available to any of our customers that are using Azure. And once you open Synapse Studio, natively you have a bunch of capabilities. You can ingest the data, explore the data, visualize the data. And it also gives you knowledge center that allows you to sh understand the pre-built templates and ideas that are already available to you. Today, we are gonna to talk about two pre-built templates that are available. So if you go inside the knowledge gallery and you search for Microsoft 365, you have two of them that are highlighted here. One is the information oversharing. So how many of here use a SharePoint inside their organization, right? Wow. Files are shared across the entire businesses. Companies are actually asking questions. Who has access to the files? Are files that are highly confidential being shared externally with people that shouldn't have access to? How do I create the right information silos so that as a business, my IP that is captured inside these files are not leaking externally? So right from Synapse, our customers can start with the Synapse information over sharing templates and go through the provisioning experiences. And what it does is it will actually pull together all the rich data from SharePoint, from Azure Active Directory to understand permissions, from Microsoft Groups to understand membership, and provide you pre-built reports and dashboard that actually allow you to understand the overall information sharing landscape for your organization. So it takes about a couple minutes to kind of uh, deploy, so I've kind of, kind of set this up real quick. And what you're seeing over here is that actual report, that end-to-end, -end, uh, sorry, the data pipeline. Here you can see the data is being pulled from AAD on the top right side, and we are doing like all the group expansions, all the nested membership, a lot of those hierarchies that are really hard for sometimes to kind of nest through. It also pulls together all the file and site information from SharePoint. So what are the sites that's been created? What kind of permissions do you have set up on those sites? What kind of files are actually in those sites? Are those files, and what kind of labels do they have? Are they highly confidential, confidential? They are just marked as regular FTEs. And it combines all of that data together to kind of create a pre-built report for you. The key power here is that we know our pre-built reports, by definition, are not gonna solve the entire landscape. So we actually open source these. And you have access to the real code that's working and available right from GitHub. So you can actually go and update the code. If you wanna change, let's say, the kind of files you want to analyze, the kinds of reports you want to build, let's say your business is really interested in looking at PDF files that are you're using for contracts that are stored in a specific site collection on SharePoint and you just want to understand who all are accessing the P these contract documents and how widely are they being shared, you can just update the code and you can directly go through that. But let me show that to you in action. So once you go and deploy these pipelines and uh, you have, what you get out of the box is our PBI report that shows you the entire landscape. Now just drilling down, sensitive labels. Businesses are kind of creating these documents and files and they're trying to understand, okay, which are the highly confidential files? You can directly see among the highly confidential files, which are the organizations externally that they're being shared with. You have so many highly confidential files that are getting shared with, let's say, Fabricam or Contoso or Acme around here. You can do even a step further. You can actually understand Within the external sharing, where are those files coming from? What site collections are they being pulled out of? The second key thing that we have kind of seen a lot of our customers ask is, what kind of permissions? Because in a lot of cases, customers do want to share files and collaborate across organizations, but they want to do it in a manner that allows only read-only access in many cases. You don't want to leak your sensitive IP, or you do want to restrict that. And so even having the understanding of role definitions and file types allow you to kind of get a much deeper sense of your overall information sharing landscape inside the business. And we really feel that this will allow our customers to create the right information boundaries and security policies that they want to build in their organizations to better protect their data and safeguard their IP. Changing gears a little bit, we said we'll talk to you about two scenarios. The second one that we're gonna talk about is the information oversharing template. 
So, sorry, the organizational network analysis template. And so, Teams, Outlook, these are the places where communication and collaborations are happening. And businesses are trying to understand, like, what are the groups that are communicating with one another? How are information silos being created? Are there opportunities where you can actually improve collaboration within the different groups and teams on the organization? And so with the rich data and the Microsoft Graph, businesses have the power to unlock that insight. Think about it, like you're kind of coming back to work, you are trying to think about how do you want to place the different teams that are seated inside a new building, right? You're in the new world. Which teams collaborate with one another is a great data point for you to think about the seating placement in your new offices and how do you want to kind of arrange the teams together, right? So with the information over sharing template, again, that you can deploy right from Synapse, the power to understand these relationships are in the fingertips. So once you go through the continuous experience, you see the information data and the people productivity graph coming through from Teams, from Outlook, from AAD, then all of that being combined together and processed for the kinds of use cases that the businesses want to build. Once you go and deploy this service, what you actually look at is a collection of uh, notebooks and data pipelines. In these data pipelines, uh, if I just pull it up, you will actually have all of the data orchestration pieces and the data aggregation pieces pre-built for you. So you as a data engineer or a data analyst or a data scientist has to worry less about finding the data, manipulating the data, munging the data. The system already has the data available in analytics ready format with Parquet, with Avro and others. And now what we are providing you is an ability to just seamlessly access the data and understand and build the insights. But we also understand companies do want to customize this for their own needs. And so we are providing open source notebooks with these templates. And what the open source notebooks do is you can actually look at the business logic that we are showcasing as to how to access the data, get the data. And so let's say if your organization wants to customize the report and you want to say, I also want to take only meetings in my analysis that have more than two attendees, but less than nine. Like that's a threshold that Microsoft came up with, but right, you have a business, you have your own thresholds. You have the freedom to go and update the code and be able to change the thresholds and the requirement for all the analysis that your business has to do. And with these uh, notebooks come the visualization and the dashboards. So out of the box, our customers are able to then look at and see, okay, what does the communication pattern look like within the business? You can see how does the finance team actually communicate? What modalities do they use? Are they mostly using Teams, Chat, and Outlook when they're communicating? Who are the closest connections that they have? The majority of the relationship is within the group, but there are some people who are actually communicating between finance and engineering, finance and legal. You can start kind of understanding how those patterns are. One thing that we have heard that is critical as we are performing this analysis is the individual privacy. And this is your data, so you get to control how the data is available. One of the things that we are providing in these templates is the ability to also do identity obfuscation. So out of the box, if you go up, you can just obfuscate all the user identities with MD5 hashes, even before the data is actually then visualized. And that allows you to kind of remove the need to have individual identities, but still do broad trend analysis across the different units. So let's say if you converted it from false to true, and you set up and you run all the pipelines, what you'll get is the obfuscated view of the same report. So no longer are end user identities being available, but your trend across departments, across regions are still maintained. And so, you can even do further analysis and say, I never want to see a report where the number of individuals are less than five. So that's like a common stratified sampling approach of minimizing a rule of five. So these are all available to you at your fingertips, built into Synapse and also now coming into Microsoft Fabric. And we are super excited to see what you guys go and build with it. With that, I'm gonna hand it back to Philip, who's gonna talk about our partners. Can you switch to my computer, please? 
And we have a, we have a rich ecosystem of third party uh, collaborations as well as partners who are building solutions on top of Microsoft Graph Data Connect. So you can see we are working very closely with a lot of people to bring you the best solutions built on top of Microsoft Graph Data, which re represents all your M365 data. So if you want to learn more, there's, a, 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 there's an AK link on the bottom. So you can click in, uh, or not click in, but you can kind of type that up and uh, take a little bit more, take a closer look and uh, I'll be outside answering any additional questions if you're interested in talking more one-on-one. -on -one. All right, thank you everyone, really appreciate it. Awesome, thank you.